Hey guys, Wyatt Plush Productions here, back again with another video. Today, we are returning one of the oldest series on my channel. Probably one of the first series on my channel that had to do with plush reviews. We are doing Plushy Fridays. Yippee! So, for those who don't remember Plushy Fridays or those who weren't around on the channel by Plushy Fridays, uh, basically, I grab a handful of customs that I made that week and I review them all. But the difference is with this one is I'm not going to review customs I made in one week. Because back then, all my customs were like hot glued and like very few were sewn. So it's a little different now to the point where I'm not doing that. I'm going to actually just show off my most recent customs. And this also will not be an every week thing like I tried to do last time. So let's get into it. All right, so first off we have Nightmare Balloon Boy. Now this custom is very nice. It uses the BB pattern except I added fingers. That one kind of messed up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut that and like fix it up. Uh, then he's got the teeth, the eyes, the nose, the, the cheeks and uh, the stripes. And overall, I really like this custom and I think I did a very good job on it. For it being only my second attempt with the BB pattern, well, the full BB pattern. All right, so next up we have Mr. 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 Yendo, one of my favorite sister location characters. A lot of people sleep on Yendo. A lot of people think Yendo's not that cool, but I personally love Yendo. So yeah, he's basically just a Black Freddy uh, pattern, a uh, Black Freddy base with uh, gray wires just glued all over him. I think the head is probably my favorite part. The body is a little bit more lackluster, but that's fine by me. I mean, I think he looks fine. So yeah, uh, basically he's got the hat, the ears, which are all glued on because I couldn't really sew them on without it being like kind of eh. I glued the nose, the eyes, the little piece in between the eyes, the eyebrows, the microphone, and overall I'm very proud of this custom. Uh, he's got a few spots like obviously there's not there's a lot less gray on here and under there but honestly he looks fine. He looks pretty good. All right, now on to the third custom, Mr. Mr. Ruin Monty. Hello, Ruin Monty. So yeah, uh, I made this custom of Ruin Monty probably like, oh, maybe like a month ago. Uh, I don't remember. But uh, basically, somebody asked for a Ruin Monty custom on my Mercari, which you know, check me, check out my Mercari on, uh, check out my Mercari. I'll probably link it in the description. But yeah, basically, uh, uh, they asked me for a Ruin Monty, and I made it for them, and then they never responded back, so I, I'm just kind of keeping it. I mean, if they do ever respond back, I might give it to them, but at the, st at the same time, it's been like two months, so I, I, I'll just assume that they've probably canceled the order or something. But yeah, so... It's just using uh, a Monty pattern with half of it cut off and replaced with a black circle. Uh, the jaw, which you know is similar to how Sly Pie did it. Uh, the eyes, the mohawk, and the tail. And yeah, overall, I think that I did uh, ruin Monty pretty well. I think one thing I might like help like add is like more like stuff on the bottom so that it's not completely empty besides his tail because I feel like he has more wires but yeah so that is Mr. Ruin Monty who is also shorter obviously and I think he looks pretty nice all right so these two were less recent that one was pretty recent and then this one was probably my second most recent custom from this video uh, so yeah, this is Nightmare Endo. Uh, I based it off of Ace Plush Studios, I think that's what they're called. Uh, they know Afton the Plush Guy. So basically, uh, I, I don't... 
do they know after the plush guy? I can't remember. Uh, anyways, so yeah, I made this Nightmare Endo Custom uh, based off of theirs. The limbs are glued on, but you can't really tell. And uh, overall, the entire thing is a custom pattern. It's just kind of like flat shapes, glue, uh, like sewn together. Then I added the wires, all the detailing is with black sharpie, and then I added the teeth and eyes, which I think are probably my favorite parts. I know that there is technically a VR, like in Help Wanted there is a Nightmare Endo, but I wanted to make this one because it's like the more known one, and in my opinion looks a little better. But you know, I will make the other one eventually. I have like this giant Word document, like a giant list of uh, stuff that I plan to make, and he is on that list, so yeah, eventually. Alright, so next up, these next few customs are kind of like, like one of, like one of them's older, but then the next three are pretty recent. So, uh, this is a recent one. We have Helpy, which, uh, you may be saying, I've never seen this Helpy before in my life. What kind of Helpy is this? This is the Helpy that walks like a sort of zombie in, uh, Help Wanted. Uh, Help Wanted, the FNAF 3 choosing screen, and obviously I did, like, do a couple of, like, modifications, like, I, uh, I kind of, like, differed from the original design a little bit with the fact that he kind of has, like, a Terminator face going on in the, in a way that it's, like, half burnt off and stuff, because, you know, like, FNAF 3 stuff is burnt and all that, and I figured I'd give it a little bit more difference. So yeah, that's him. I'm pretty excited uh, about making that custom. I don't really know why. It's a pretty basic custom. And I also have another Helpy that I'm going to use for a pattern, so I'll be able to make stuff like Ghost Helpy, Werewolf Helpy, Vampire Helpy, which I probably should have turned this into Vampire Helpy, but I didn't, so... I kind of regret that decision. Alright, so... The next one is a very old custom, but I want to show it off because I really like how I revised it all those years ago. I say all those years ago, but it's been like a year and a half since I revised it. We have the Cartoon Cat. I am, I am such a fan of like the Trevor Henderson monsters. I have a Bridgeworm plush. Uh, and I have bootlegs of Cartoon Cat, Cartoon Dog, Cartoon Rabbit, and Siren Head. I'm going to sell Siren Head, Cartoon Dog, and Cartoon Cat. I'll keep Cartoon Rabbit because it's fine, but the other three, I feel like I could make like c creatures like this. And I, I already had this custom, and I figured I'd just revise it. And overall, I feel like I waste. I, I didn't even spend that much money on the Cartoon Cat. I think it's like $11 for him and Cartoon Dog, so it's like $5, like $5.50 each. So, you know, I didn't spend that much money on them, but, you know, I figured I'd just sell them because I, I don't need them anymore. But yeah, so this is Cartoon Cat. Uh, his head and body is made up of three socks, so sock, sock, sock. And then the limbs are pieces of felt sewn together for legs and arms. And then I used felt for the gloves. And overall, I am such a fan of how I did this custom. I think that he really, like, captures the essence of Cartoon Cat pretty well. And overall, uh, yes, you will definitely see him in the series somewhere, somehow. Not gonna say how or when that is, but you will eventually see this man. Alright, so next up is another character that was seen in the Halloween video. We have creepy, uh, realistic Fredbear, which, uh, is based off of an, not an SFM model, but a drawing on, uh, Twitter, I think. I think it was a drawing on Twitter. Uh, and essentially, it was just like this really realistic Fredbear with like these small little eyes and like the the teeth are more like realistic. So the teeth are made of clay and one of them just fell out. Uh, I, I, I might need to fix that. 
but at the same time I might I might end up knocking out his teeth and like putting them like putting in some new teeth made of just felt like these because I, I, I don't really think I did too well on these but yeah so that's uh, realistic Fredbear who uh, I tried to base off the drawing the best I could I added this arm which is like hanging on by threads I did that on purpose because uh, I did it on purpose because uh, he kind of has that in the drawing where it's like falling off obviously this one's fine and then I added this little stitch part in the back with some thread just because I, I felt like it could add to him and I I don't know I just felt like I could make it a little bit different than the original drawing and we never really got to see the back of the drawing so yeah so that is nightmare na, na, realistic like bite Fredbear I, I, I like to call him bite Fredbear so yeah there's bite Fredbear grab his tooth and like put that back in his face just put it in his mouth there we go uh, then we have the final plush I know that uh, he's not FNAF cartoon cats not FNAF but I figured I'd end it off with another non FNAF character we have Dr. Zomboss who overall I think is one of my best customs that's not FNAF I love that cartoon cat plush but I I do think I quite like Zomboss as well I've done very well on Zomboss he's got his lab coat with the collar I used a zombie head pattern which uh, I got off the internet and it's it worked all right but if you compare him to like for example this purple zombie uh, the head is a bit bigger not by much but a little bit if you can like compare them side by side it's a little bigger especially like right here on the, the, the chin I guess but overall I'm very proud of this custom and I overall think that uh, he will definitely work in the series. I have the Garden Warfare Jazzwares Zomboss plush, but I might end up selling that because it's very expensive apparently. It's like 70 bucks, and I don't think I'll ever use him in the series, so I might sell him, or who knows, I might use him in the in the videos as like something else, maybe like Zomboss's cousin, his old younger brother or something, who knows. Zomboss is a child. But yeah, so this is my Zomboss plush. He's got his sleeved arms, his obviously his lab coat, his pants, his brain, which I used like a picture of Zomboss's head. Like a picture, like a full body picture of Zomboss was used, and I saw that like these specific lines were right here. And as for these, these are kind of like non specific lines that I put on the back. I did kind of mess up right there, which I didn't notice till just now, but that's fine. Then we have the eyes with the eyebrow, a little crease in between. We have like some bags under his eyes to make him look tired, I guess. Uh, we have the nostrils and the mouth. And overall, I very much like Zomboss, and he will definitely fit in the series. Which, uh, also, I want to say that that series is definitely happening a lot sooner than I said it would. Uh, I gave a very improper estimate to how long it would take to finish that series. Like, not to finish it, but to start it. I gave a very improper, uh, uh, like a very improper estimate about how long it would take. And it turns out I'll probably be able to get it done before the year ends possibly I, I, I'm not sure it's a possibility but it's nothing guaranteed so I hope you all enjoyed this episode of Plushy Fridays remastered it's definitely not what I'm gonna call it it's just gonna be called Plushy Fridays again uh, but yeah so I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you all later goodbye